Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and the uh, nearly, actually over 400 audios now on a variety of social, emotional, coaching related topics. Hopefully there's something that's a benefit to you. Please like, subscribe, comment below. If there's something we can do to help you out, we'd love to do that. If you are looking for a coach of any sort, business, relationship, personal, uh, self-motivation, learning new habits, entertainment if you're looking to break into the entertainment industry and you're kind of looking for a way to 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 bolster your personality and, and your public perception um with a dozen years in broadcasting i can help with that too but if you're interested in working with me there's a couple ways to do that pretty simple all you got to do is uh go on my website which is available here in the about me section on youtube and or follow us on twitter at po perception so we're going to look today at something that I think, I think, after uh, the challenges of 2020 with uh, the coronavirus and all the challenges therein, uh, making ourselves happy and some things that can block our happiness. So, uh, you know, things you got to change in order to be happier in your daily life in 2021 and beyond. Uh, the first is, are your standards too high? Look, it's awesome to have goals. It's awesome to have high standards. But... If you're trying to live to standards that are above what you can handle right now, lowering them so you can create a relationship with actually achieving your goals and reaching your standards on a more consistent basis and then raising them as you gain momentum is a much better way than having high, high, high standards that you haven't reached in months or years and then not having a plan to improve your life. Now, that's not to say, you know, go eat a chocolate cake every 32 minutes, but at the same time, hey, if you if you need to eat good on a regular basis, you need to gain momentum, then promise yourself you can have two cheat days a week and then cut down to one and then cut down to one every 10 days and then cut down to only holidays or when you go out to dinner. Or in other words, have layered expectations of yourself and don't set your standards so high that you're going to shoot yourself in the foot before you even get started. The next is you got to get rid of baggage. Look, if it's happened, it's happened for a reason. You determine what that reason is. No one else can. But at the same time, the past is the past. You can't go back and fix it. The future is a co-creation between you and the power of creation, whether you call that God, God, God is the universe, or whatever you call it. There is a co-creative effort going on there, and the baggage of what could have happened, would have happened, should have happened in the past and didn't can actually steal your happiness and joy for today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year. So finding a way to deal with that baggage in a different way, super important. Getting rid of toxic people in your life is the next thing you got to do to make yourself a little bit happier. So, look, there are going to be people that have been in your life for months, years, sometimes decades, sometimes you're related to some of them, other times... Their best friends from middle school, high school, whatever the case may be. Sometimes it could be a mentor that's outgrown being helpful to you. There's a million ways that a, a relationship can become toxic. But if a person is no longer mutually beneficial to you, that means you're benefiting them and they're benefiting you, at least in some progressive, positive way. It's time to cut them loose. And you got to realize the only time that you have time to meet new people that are going to level your game up is if you're making room by eliminating the people that may be holding you back or holding you down. Making intelligent decisions, but also taking smart risks, pulling, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. I can remember the first time I ever had a microphone placed in my hand at 15 years old. I had no clue what I was doing. I told the person that handed me the microphone that they said something that was so valuable. Well, you're never going to learn if you don't get started. And I never forgot that. And so, obviously, we don't want to jump out of a plane without a parachute, metaphorically. But at the same time, don't be so afraid to fail that you allow fear of failure to consume you. Take educated, smart risks that get you closer to where you want to be. That may mean talking to somebody that you think's out of your league. That may mean... Learning a skill or ability you never thought you'd learn. There are a million things it could mean, but always be moving forward. Let go of the illusion of perfection. Perfection is in the eye of the beholder, and complete perfection doesn't exist. So, 
perfection's in the eye of the beholder. In other words, my idea of a perfect living environment is something where I can have as little space as possible, but I have a place for my stuff, and I have access to running water, lights, and an internet connection. That's my perfect environment. Now, that can exist anywhere in the world, really, 195, 196 countries, um, and it doesn't have to be big. Now, someone else's perfect environment could be a beach house. Someone else's perfect environment could be a place to snowboard. And so there is no universal perfect that applies to every person, but you can find what's perfect for you now and as you evolve as an individual. Now, the next thing you gotta get rid of is the illusion that you can please everybody. I talk about on this channel a lot, the three tribes. The tribe of people that you're never gonna please because they've already passed judgment on you. The tribe of people that you can convert to your way of thinking by being uh, a person of integrity and honor and the type of people that are gonna be with you regardless of what you do because they're already in your corner. They're your ride or die folks. What happens, though, is in society, the majority of us spend a whole bunch of time on group number one, the people we're never going to convert. We waste a lot of energy, we waste a lot of tears, we waste a lot of time on that group, when in reality, we should put the majority of our time into group two, the people we could convert if we acted in accordance with something that fit with them, and then use group three, the people that are going to be in our corner no matter what we do, as our recharge group if we get knocked backwards a little bit. The next is let go of pride. No one is above challenges and no one is below success. So the idea is if we pride tells us that, well, I deserve. Says who? According to who? Because of what? Now, that doesn't mean don't have goals. It doesn't mean don't treat yourself well and have boundaries. But all of us are more equal than we want to admit to each other and that means that good things can happen to a good person. Good things can happen to a bad person. Bad things can happen to a good person. Bad things can happen to a bad person. All things are in play as long as we're in human form. And so letting go of the pride of entitlement that I don't deserve ABC, that may be factually accurate, but it doesn't change your circumstance. Next is release control of things you cannot control and control the things you can. You can control what you focus on. You can control what things mean to you. You can control how you react to things. You can't control what other people do or say. You can't control the outcome of events in, in a lot of cases, but you can control your reactions. And the next is get rid of your toxic negative habits, be it gambling or alcoholism, drug addiction, cigarettes, um, sexual addiction, whatever it is, the habits that are holding you back, whether you want to confront them now or later, are going to need to be confronted for you to reach the peak of your life. And the only way to truly get where you want to be is to remove the habits that are holding you back. So this has hopefully been helpful to you. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.